He's dude. Paul Reed Smith's got a forty nine broadcaster. Okay. So Paul's like, own all the tallies you want. You know. Oh yeah, this guitar is sick, man. <laughs> That's just sick to tell you I'm ever playing. So are you a believer now? Yes. <laughs> but I, I detected. I, I knew clue. I, I did. Well, I was under the suspicion that you, you know, some people don't know me. Think, oh yeah, right. He doesn't make another guitars. guitar builder. Right? Well, but of course, but of course, with Brad Paisley playing a bill crook and you, you know, think, the name's getting exponentially out there, you know, and it's. Do you think Brad would like one of these? I think. Are so. you kidding me? He'd love one of these, man. I can hook you up with Brad too. Really? Yeah. If I know. Well, I've met Brad a couple of different times, but I'm, I can, you know, Frank Rogers, his manager, I'm really good friends with. We could just hook up and go visit him, too. I love that finish. Man. Yeah, that, that is smoking, man. You, you don't usually see me go gaga over a Strat, either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're going you're gonna to be happy with that. Now, on that one, just to let you know up front, I, I, I made the switch. Uh, I modified it a little bit. Uh, it's, a, it? it's a little longer. So that, I noticed, I like that. Yeah, so you can because easy, you turn easy, on there easier to grab it. And and plus, if you're working the whammy bar, you can actually flip positions while holding the whammy bar. Oh, flip, nice. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You could use the yeah. whammy bar to actually hit the switch. Yeah, but I like, actually, like, you can actually use it. Thing, yeah. Because what I, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I was thinking was, what if I could make that switch a little longer and oh, no. use the bar itself to, okay. you know, to, uh, you know, without like letting go of the bar, I'm hitting the switch with the bar. Right. <laughs> so it worked out kind of cool. Some people oh, might this think. This is really cool, man. Remember I was telling you about my buddy Garrick Alvin? Yes. He would absolutely love this track. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what do you use to pick up some of this? Um, I wound those ones. Um, so these so, are your pickups. Yeah. <laughs> so, I kinda, so did I do okay? Man, it's smoking. I made a... About 10.2 10 in the bridge, so it's a little hot. Uh, 54. 54. Except, except I modified it by, by putting a five-way switch in. Because I was trying to capture everything from Buddy Guy to Jimmy Hendrix. Nice. You know what I mean? That's that's what I had in mind. I Tuned it since Brent was wailing on it. Now this is really sweet. Doesn't feel like tens. What's that? There are tens on there, but they don't feel like it. No, they sure don't. <laughs> friend Luke, the kid, he played yeah. that too. Yeah, yeah he's the one that's stuck on them crook guitars. <laughs> I don't think so after uh, Tuesday night. <laughs> yeah, he's actually got Bill Billing of another one right now. He might be committed to that, but uh, after after he heard the uh, the strat, he sort of figured out the tellies probably sound good too. Yeah. <laughs>
need the telly back. Crabs <laughs> are sweet, but man, I just gotta gotta play that white telly again. Hey, you've been too, you've been too 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 long away from the telly. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah, I can't, man, I can't go too long away from that guy. Man, I'll tell you what, your contour of that strat is just sick. Do you it's like awesome. it? It's awesome, yeah. It's okay? Yeah, it's beautiful, man. But I'll tell you what, there's something about this whole girl right here. I'm just really digging. I'm really digging this guitar. Yeah. I'm going to be doing a couple more uh, blondes uh, this week. Really? Yeah. They're going to be a little more torn up than that, though. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like those yeah, distressed right, jeans. Uh, yeah, torn up. Stressed. No pedals. If um, if Guthrie had plugged it in, it wouldn't be here. It, oh yeah. <laughs> he was just playing it unplugged, but I think if he plugged it in, it would have just pushed him up. Yeah. See, the way I do these, uh, no matter what, see what I mean by no matter what angle you look at it, you can get up close. See, this really, if you just took a, if you just nick, nick this a little bit more around the edge, it would be like exactly like Vince's. It has that same, it has that same uh, texture. Well, you know why. This is just a little bit more gouged. Yeah, you though. know why though. Mm -mm. Because I have a toothbrush and he doesn't. <laughs> 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 that is just, but I mean, that is literally beautiful, man. That's just... I'll tell you what, you get him to pick up a telly, I'll, I'll build Dude, you one. Dude, I'd like to show this to Vince. I'll build you one for free. I'd really love to show this to Vince. I'd love to be there when you show it to him and say, Hey, this guy, he did it. Let's, let me set that up then. Really? Yeah. Wow. I want Steve Warner to see your guitars too. Really? I've met Steve a couple times. He probably doesn't remember me. It's been probably about five years. I run into him now and then at Walmart, but he only lives right over here in Brentwood. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, dude, Vince needs to see this. Really? Dude, I'm, I ain't been blown away with the telly in a long time. This is the telly. This telly is sick. Wow. And Vince Gill's been one of my heroes for a long time, so this, this telly actually really has got my go, man. I'm just... And this is just really sick, man. Well, I'll tell you what, I'd be very privileged and honored if you, if you did set that up, and uh, like, uh, and I'm sure um, one of those, or that one, will find its way into uh, your doorstep. Dude, it's, uh, just, the way you've, just the way you've done this neck, too, man, it's just, instead of turning black, it actually turned like a white hue. I just really love that, man. I shot some photos this week of uh, 
You know, Brent Mason's telly, just the neck, just to get a feel for how his neck wears. So I can compare it to some of my necks that I do. And Pretty similar. Very, very close. Yeah, I'll that, say, I, I got to uh, play that. Oh, I'll tell you who else would buy one of these tellies in a minute, too, is Rookie D's. Who's that? A really good friend of Brent, Rookie D's. Oh. Up in Maryland. Let me go see who that is. Sure. <laughs> I'm better. Like that one. Uh, actually, yes, they are. Huh. But, but, but the, the, the way the wood uh, turns, I mean, every piece of wood is different, uh, you know, how it's... Uh, they have their own personality. Like how this one plays actually better than that one, surprisingly enough. Really? Well, just a few minutes ago, I didn't. So, um, this one actually fits my hand a little better. Does it? And plus, I like the tension on the high end better. It's a little looser, a little bit more. You got tens on here, too? Mm hmm. They're all tens. All tens. <laughs> This, so, when I when I build them, there's subtle differences between the 53 and the 52, you know. All right, Kelton, box this one up for me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is beautiful. Oh man, that's very generous. I, I, you know, I would I would play the gut of this guitar. Sure. How's it how's it compared to Vince Gill's uh, telly? Pretty dug on close. Really? Mm -hmm. You like it? I mean, Vince's is just a little bit more darker brown in the neck, and a little bit more. Like your, yours is nice and smooth in the back. Uh -huh. This is a little bit more lacquered up. Darker brown and a little more solid, solid wood, more feel. You know, it's kind of like. Also, his is a top loader. Yes. So that makes a difference in tonality as well yes. and playability. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those top loaders get a little. Yeah. They, they can be slinky. <laughs> yep. What are you using? 500K in the back? No, I'm using a, actually 250. 250? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot of people think uh, it's... Uh, yeah, try those pots. Yeah, I like them. Try nice. It, um, See, I'm absolute perfect telling, man. Thank yeah. you, that's very generous. So seriously, if you saw that sitting at the uh, Guitar Center in a case, next to the other one you were telling me about, would you think it was uh, a new one? Oh, I would, I would think that the real 53 they have in there would be a brand new one, and this would be the actual 53. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, definitely. For sure. Um, but, you know, I, I like, pe me personally, I like them when they're, 
when they're physically light. Yeah. I like them lighter because you know you don't want to. Well, Tony Albert always said they're lighter than light, they're more sustained. <laughs> you don't want to get a real heavy telecaster. <laughs> you get a real heavy telecaster, you know, the next stuff run true. The lower the light guitar, the more sustained you get. So how do I know it wasn't you that I was talking to the a uh, couple weeks back and not Albert Lee? <laughs> were, you, were you messing with me? Man, I really love this guitar, Kelly. <laughs> Well, where do you, where do you, where do I get my next batch? Oh. Man, do you have a guitar here with the other, with the other pickups in it? Johnny, plug for me. Oh yeah, you know, you should try that Strat. How, how's, how's the weight feel on that one? Oh, unbelievable. It, it's not heavy, is it? No. That's what uh, Brett Mason was saying. Was that the one Brett liked? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this thing And looks... did he ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is really nice. Right? I think it might be the amp, uh, the amp, remember I was saying earlier that the So when you're weaving, um, I, I, are you like, I'm just curious as to your soloing technique, are you uh, putting scales together, portions of scales together? Is you just that... need to come to my house, man. Let, <laughs> let me sit down with you and really teach you what I'm doing because it's, it's not that hard. <laughs> yeah, it's right. a little technique I devised called the high, low, low, high pattern. And it's real easy. Now I got your video, and did, did, you know, with Arlen, uh, did you... Uh, that's that's pretty loose. Uh, it might just. Uh, do you want another? Um, oh, you mean the strap? Here, yeah. Let me. 